Hello, 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 it's Dr. Rowe, and yes, it is cold right now <laughs> since I've got my body warmer. I just realized it's the same brand, not that I'm here to promote a brand, <laughs> turn it around that way, look. Anyway, um, look, this is a really important message. It's a message that I think, I, uh, for me, I have to get out. I'm just going to switch this off the screen just for a minute and bring it back in a second, see if I can find it. Where is it? There it is. Okay. So... Uh, I'm feeling super inspired today. I've got lots of things going on in my head. And as I'm recording this, uh, I, I want to tackle a subject I think is coming into people's lives at the moment, which is that feeling of like, okay, there's, it's been a tough year. There's been a lot going on. Uh, some people have thrived through COVID. Other people haven't. I think overall, though, there's a lot of instability, a lack of clarity, and a lot of uncertainty around what's going to happen in 2021. And so depending on where you are in your life cycle, somebody who's 60 to 70 years of age, it's been a little bit more accepting the pace of life may have slowed down. Their expectations of what the next five to 10 years will be very different to somebody who's 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So if I was to do interventions with five different people with five different generations, you know, picking a decade for each, you would literally see a completely different sense of urgency for every one of those people. It doesn't matter who they are, what their background is, whatever. Even it doesn't matter what their fundamental aspirations are. There is a natural progression. There is a natural evolution as a human being through your life. We progress through that. Every single one of us, you watching this right now, are limitless in your ability. And I know you might argue, well, you know, I've got certain physical restrictions, etc. But what I mean is you have the capacity to create incredible things. And even if it's not you, through your own impact on the world, through a word, a sentence, a phrase, an idea or something that you create, you have the ability to go beyond your own sphere of influence and, and radiate out to a greater space. And that's what I honestly believe the next phase of your life needs to be in order to grow through this next stage, which is 2021, 2022, 23, 23. We're, we're talking about a two to three year period now. It's not just like the next four or five months. And here's what I also believe. I think everybody watching this right now is in a state of lack of clarity, lack of certainty. We talked about this on a recent podcast. If you haven't watched our podcast, by the way, go and watch our recent podcast, which tackled the mindset around dealing with uncertainty. It's www.cicado.com forward slash podcast. It's podcast 40, 41, 42, one of those. But anyway, go watch. We've had like 10, 12,000 people download so far and it's amazing. It's growing. We haven't even marketed it. We just let it go organically. And I think people are following it because it's a genuine message. The message I want to get across to you is you are amazing. You are incredible. Your kids are incredible. The people around you that are supporting you, that are loving you, know that about you. And if you've had a tough year, then remember all things pass. Everything passes, albeit it may pass physically and time might pass, but emotionally you may still have some of the scars that carry forward into the future. And it's important to start to work on that. Now, I'm going to give you a suggestion because somebody said to me, what can I do to create a sense of urgency? What can I do to create uh, momentum into 2021? So I put a slide up. Uh, well, I say a slide, some key points. Three things. Number one, I'm going to suggest you give yourself a seven month period, six to seven months, right? A year's 12 months, isn't it? So slice it down the middle, six months. I'm recording this December, but so let's say the end of June, 2021, if you're watching this right now, you might watch this in the future. It doesn't matter where you are. Just put a timeline for six months. And I want you to imagine the following. I want you to imagine that you have found out that you will not exist beyond end of June, 2021. You've been given a suggestion that everything's going to stop. You know, your life's going to end. And that sounds a bit brutal, but what I want to do is this. I want to create a, an, an imposed, in the same way we've been imposed to lock down, an imposed timeline on you. Now, I know that in real terms, you're watching this, you're going to live way beyond that. However, it's that unconscious relaxedness. It's that unconscious back door you know, side door, oh, I can slip through the side door and come back later on. It's that, oh yeah, manana, manana mindset that can hold you back from achieving what you truly have the potential to achieve in a shorter space of time than you realize. And the way we do that is we create urgency. Now, how do we create the urgency? We have to impart that upon ourselves. Otherwise, something happens to us that results in us changing our circumstances, meaning we have turning points. Oh, this happened, then I had it. That was my turning point. I found out this, I was going to lose my job, and then I decided to start self-employment. Or I found out that my relationship was on the rocks and my partner was having an affair. That's when I made a change. It ended the relationship, went a different direction. Now I'm in an incredible relationship. Whatever it is, that's what happens to people. What I want you to do is imagine that you only have 
five, six, seven months. I would suggest do six months. It's a great time frame. That's all you have. If you didn't exist beyond six months time, what would you want to happen? What would you like to do in these next six months? Assuming that with that level of number two urgency, you are absolutely limitless. What would you do? Now you can compartmentalize this. You can say, right, on a personal level and on a professional level. So one way to do this is on a personal level, what fulfillment would you want to have with your family, with the, your loved one? Think about all the things that you've been literally parking in the back of your mind for a long time. Now, some of these might involve travel and going to visit somewhere and, oh yeah, I've always wanted to go and, go and visit that place in the world, go, you know, climb Machu Picchu, whatever it is. It may not be possible due to the situation with COVID. However, what could you do to simulate that, to create that experience, even if it's going on a virtual trip there, studying it, becoming so absorbed by it, but you just, you, it just consumes you. So that could be a way around it. You create the virtual experience. But what I mean is, what can you do to contribute to your own personal life and assume that you are fearless? So three things. Imagine that you haven't got any more than six months left. Okay. Now you've got the urgency. What, what would you drop? To, I would say to people, think of it two ways, right? What would you drop right now that is not critical? And what would you carry on doing or what would you pick up that you've been putting off that now suddenly becomes urgent? You're putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. And now it's like, shit, if I don't do this now, then it's never going to happen. I want you to create that level of urgency on a professional level. Is it, and when I talk about this, I mean, like, do you have a vision for something? Do you want to create a charity? Do you want to contribute towards a charity? Have you been thinking about, yeah, maybe end of next year, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a day a week going and giving my time to a charity, giving money to a charity. Do it now. Just freaking do it. Imagine you've got nothing left but six months and ask yourself a really powerful question. What legacy could I leave beyond the six months? If I wasn't around on this earth, if people reflect back to 2021 and they're remembering me, not so much me as a person, but the message or the imprint, the footprint that I left through the universe on this earth, what would it be? What would that one thing be? Would it be to do with writing a book, for example? If so, get on with it now. Would it be creating a product? If so, get on with it now. Is it, I'm going to get into sort of communicating and getting messages out onto the internet and start to leave videos that are really powerful and impact people's lives. Well, that ain't going to happen after end of June next year because guess what? I've got no time. So let me do it now. What can I leave that's timeless? If you've got kids, what could you do that would leave a timeless message for them in the future? But create that urgency. And the last point here is about being fearless. Imagine that you couldn't fail. Imagine that whatever you did would move you one step closer to that goal. What do you need to do? What do you need to pack in? What could you actually physically do right now over these next six months that would absolutely ensure that that even if you didn't fully complete it, you've at least created the momentum to get there. That is absolutely vital. You have massive capacity to do incredible things. I genuinely believe that. And I think the biggest challenge at the moment is people have got lack of clarity, lack of certainty. There's a bit of a delay. We'll wait and see, we'll wait and see, we'll wait and see. I say, fuck that. I say, get your foot down on the accelerator, focus forward, swing the rear view mirror off to the side so you're not looking now. Let's look ahead six months. What can you do? Start dropping things that are irrelevant to your life. Drop the things that are negative to you. Let go of some of the associations around you who are not serving you if you have to. I'm not, I'm not talking about divorce here, but I'm just talking about, you know, where are you spending time that's not powerful? Imagine every day you wake up for the next six months is literally have to move you step closer, step closer, so that as you disappear off after the end of June, you can look back and go, wow, I've really... I've fulfilled so many passionate dreams that I wanted to achieve. They don't have to be massive. Some of them could be tiny. It could just be taking the next six months. And part of that is learning a subject with your children or becoming a teacher to your children in a certain area. What's a message you want to leave them? What's something that you've all, maybe you read the classics or you, you sit down with them and study. I mean, my fiance at the moment, she's doing some amazing stuff with my daughter, studying Rome and the Greeks and maybe leaving a message there. Something that you know that you've experienced on that journey. But please, 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 there's so much noise out there. It's, it's so easy to get drawn into social media and, and don't do this and should do that. And vaccination, no vaccination, and lockdown, no lockdown and all those debates. A lot of that right now, you know, you've got six months. What can you do in six months? That's my message. Six months, six months, six months.